Alright, we're rolling. What's going on guys? Um, welcome to this channel. Basically guys, just wanted to quickly share what's happening. And uh, every morning guys, I take in my time to really invest on my creativity. And you know, I always have a glass of coffee and uh, an apple with me beside. Here it is. That tastes so good. So yeah guys, apple, coffee, plus a bit of research helps me within the day and it's quite hard to talk while there's an apple in my mouth anyways let's get along with it what is the first work i want to share with you guys today it is uh by bruno avillian if you guys do not know who bruno avillian is take notes guys if you want to establish yourself as a tv commercial director um you should already know who bruno avillian is he is one of the creative top directors um really known for his style and creative direction and if you look at his works, you can really know who uh, shot this, right? He is the guy. Um, he's the guy known for crystals, a lot of bokeh backgrounds. And personally, for me, my top favorite works that Bruno did is the Shangri La one. He's hiking in the mountains, and the wolf come in. Uh, just check it out, guys. It's fucking awesome. But, but, uh, recently, uh, one week ago, he's uh, uploaded a uh, new work. in terms of like Bruno Avellian, I'm really a big fan of his colors. His color choices are usually red or blue, so it's very distinctive. And this is what I meant guys, a lot of fast cuts and close-ups, that's what Bruno's known for. That's a Korean actress right there. Boom. There you have it, guys. Um, okay, here's my comment on Bruno Avillian. And of course, uh, these are, of course, coming from as a filmmaking background in advertising. Um, yeah, here it goes. Um, first of all, guys, I'm a big fan of Bruno Avillian. I've been following his work for quite a while. And also been, uh, he's the guy, go-to guy for uh, commercial reference, right? All commercial directors have uh, a reference that they show to their agency or clients. And Bruno Avellian is one of the styles that's been handpicked the most since 2012 after DSLR market hit. So a lot of people try to imitate his looks, such as the crystals and close-ups and fast cuts. Um, of course, Bruno Avellian still stands of his own name. As you can see, uh, uh, one week ago, um, he still does fight for his voice which is pretty cool and really love his colors uh, but personally guys it ain't my favorite work of bruno i'm pretty sure he's done a lot more better works for samsung shangri-la um, as you can see he's the director and both director of photography i guess this was a challenge for him to shoot think about it guys um, i guess this shoots the budget would be around two to three days of shooting i'm assuming and he directed it and did the dop himself that's that's a lot of work and uh, quad production is of course their production house not really sure about the rest but there you go guys um but feel free to let me know down in the comments if you have any resources to bruno uh, hook me up man <laughs> just kidding but yeah um love to see what your comment is um anyways guys moving on um this is the next ad i'd like to share with you guys um this has been viral big big viral on youtube and pretty much you've guys seen it if not here it is and yeah check it out it's an ad for under armor michael phelps of course is the cast check it out Tomorrow reminds 
I love this ad guys when I, when I first saw it I was so inspired it really stood out because we all know who Michael Phelps is and the story was really focused towards Michael and uh, the journey he goes through the things the obstacles and stuff like that and it's well uh, developed film overall there's act one act two act three you know um, basically establishes his basic lifestyle go through a hard time and uh, the character devol develops and of course wins in the end but I really do admire um, directors who can really pull out great stories out of celebrities because guys it's I've had experiences directing celebrities or kids to dogs a lot of hard challenges on there but in terms of celebrity guys there's always a challenge because they have a certain cut time a limit so to say so like um, they come in 9 a.m they need to be leaving like 3 p.m their schedules are not easy to play around so pre-productions are the challenge when it comes to working with big talent and i really always admire um directors or filmmakers who can really pull off great great ads such as like nike commercials like think about an ad where like uh, if you watch football there's cristiano ronaldo there's rooney and all these nike ambassadors come into one big stadium and i'm i'm always question myself how how they've done it <laughs> you know it's just it would be such a challenge to really manage their time you know their this choreography and stuff like that of course michael isn't an actor i'm not sure if he can act but he really pulled it off by the last you know the breathing part you know it just worked great um, the sound design was perfect as well I think it really like pulled the audience back and forth and the emotions you know they had the full control of the emotion which is great so I leave it up to you guys um, what would you rate this video and what would you say uh, Martin against Bruno and who are your favorite directors and why let me know down in the comments below and also let me know down in the comments guys what you think about this series i'd love to share more inputs and how i think about this perspective in the filmmaking world especially in advertising there it is guys um let's try to help each other out uh be nice in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one guys i hope you like this series and yeah happy shooting and uh, i'm signing out take care